Hello, I want to welcome you to His Word Lives Ministry. My name is David Guthrie, and I'm going to be bringing a message today in our Bible time, and then we'll have our prayer time. In our Bible time, we're in the book of Ephesians in chapter 6, verses 1 through 4. We've been talking about wives and husbands and the marriage and how uh, the, the church and, the, and marriage are symbolic of each other and how Jesus came down from on high and left his father and came and become one with the church in that he is the head and the church is the body. And a man leaves his father and mother and comes and marries his wife and they become one flesh. And we've been talking about understanding the will of God and this is some good reading that we've been we've been studying and, and talking about here in our Bible lesson. And I want to preach a little bit this morning about children. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. This for this is right. God tells us that we as children, and we're children of somebody. We have a mother and a father somewhere. And we need to obey our parents. For God says that this is right. And we're to obey them, meaning to reverence them. To uh, care about the things that they're telling us to do. The things that, that they're pointing out of importance to us in our life. We're to obey our parents. We're not just to go along as some obligation. We're not to go through the motions, but we're to sincerely reverence and obey our parents. Verse 2 says, Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. Honor thy father and mother. Lift them up. Uh, have a self-esteem towards them that is special. A uplifting of respect for our father and our mother. The ones that raised us, cared for us, made sure we were clothed and fed and taken care of. We're to honor them. What is this first commandment with promise? This is one of God's commandments that has a promise to it. It's a twofold thing here. Verse 3 says, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. See, if we honor thy father and mother, God gives a promise that it will be well with us, and we may live long upon the earth, or we may prosper and live long upon, upon the earth. This is a promise from God. Let us honor our fathers and mothers. Verse 4 says, And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. This is a message from the Lord to the fathers. Fathers, don't make your children angry or mad. Don't do things that provoke them and are not of the will of God. Show love towards your children. It says to nurture them or to train them in all things and that, that God has made possible to you in your understanding and wisdom in your life. Train these things. Show these things to your children. An admonition of the Lord. This is to be trained in what God is expecting and what God's will is for them in their lives. Well, you might say, what are some of these things? Well, uh, one of them is to love God. Another one is to know him as their Lord and as their Savior and tell them about Jesus and the gospel that he died on a cross to pay the penalty for their sins. And if they believe on him, 
they shall be saved and forgiven for their sins and shall have everlasting life. That's one of the first things we need to teach our children along the way. Another thing we need to teach our children to love one another. We need to teach our children to have fellowship. We need to teach our children how to witness and tell other people about Jesus Christ. These are some of the things that are the admonition of the, of the Lord. And let us do these things as fathers. And remember, don't provoke your children to anger. Don't lose your temper to your children. Don't be sarcastic to them. Don't show favoritism uh, amongst your children. Lift up your children. Love them. Love them so much that they just see the love of Jesus coming through you and pouring out onto them. And point them in the right direction. They're going to need it. They're going to have their own spiritual battles in their lives. Uplift and help and train, nurture them and show them the will of God in their lives. Praise God for the message this morning. Children, honor your father and mother and God promises you to live long and prosperous in your life. Praise God this morning. We'll go ahead and go into prayer time. We'll pray for Jane Cochran and she's got an upcoming surgery. And we also want to pray for Danny Cochran that uh, he also may have an upcoming surgery. So we want to lift up the Cochrans this morning in prayer. I'd like to pray for Mary Jean Sarin and her uh, family and, and things going on in their life. I'd like to pray for Chuck Nix and his family as his mom passed away. Uh, I'd like to pray for Elizabeth Parson, for her and her family. I'd like to pray for Brenda Holsomeback and her family. As uh, uh, the, the doctors have call, uh, called in the family, uh, their mother-in-law, Frankie, is, is, is close to death. So we want to pray for this family. I'd like to pray for Hoel Quaraz and uh, his family. A uh, dear friend of mine I worked with one time, and i just like to lift up Hoel to the Lord and the things that he's doing for God, that God would touch him and bless him in his ministries. Wilson Garnett, I'd like to pray for Wilson and his family and lift them up to Jesus, that Jesus would touch them today and help them along the way and give them strength and encourage them, and just take care of them today. I'd also like to thank Wilson for his prayers for me and our, my family and, and the ministry, and thank you so much. Now you lift up your prayer request. What's God laying on your heart? I'd like to pray for you this morning. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Pray with us. Dear Jesus, I come to you in prayer, and I ask you, God, one more time, Lord, to just Pour out your blessings upon us. God, we thank you for all you do for us. God, we praise you for who you are and what you make possible for us. Everlasting life. God, we thank you for the love that you show. God, we thank you for the children and the direction that you give us through your holy scriptures to honor our mothers and our fathers. And God, we just thank you for all you do God, have your will and your way in our life. Let us live the day by faith, following the Holy Spirit in our lives, God. Let us walk today, following and knowing that you've got it. You've got this. And you're going to lead and guide us and show us how our day should unfold. And God, we lift up the prayer request to the viewers, Lord. We pray for them, God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us today. God bless you. I appreciate you watching these Christian videos and having a desire to draw close to God. Let it be a good part of your day. Add to it. 
Pray several times today. Read your Bible. And get ready to for this weekend to enjoy it. And also to go to church on Sunday. And worship God with your brothers and sisters in Christ. Praise God and thank you for being with us again today. God bless you.